Hello everyone. So today I'm going to talk about OED speaking role play. So what to do if you can't speak for the full five minutes? So this is a common worry of all the OED aspirants. So let's have a discussion about that. So what are the biggest worries of nurses and doctors when it comes to tips for OED speaking is not just about speaking English, but specifically being able to speak for the full five minutes of the role play. Fewer comes from maybe not having the opportunity because of some reasons to get a native English teacher, ideally an OET teacher to help you on a daily basis. And other reason is maybe you're working 12 hour shifts and just don't have time. Is this true for you? So as part of the 20 minute speaking examination, you have got two role plays. Each lasts for five minutes, but you have got two to three minutes preparation time for each one on top of that as well. So roughly it works out as 20 minutes. Being able to speak for the full five minutes is scary. I know how you must feel because we have got a lot of students on our program that feel this way too. In some of our practice mock tests, when we time the students, they are speaking for four minutes or three and a half. You know, guess what? You have got extra time that you should really be take advantage of. So this is your opportunity to Really impress the examiner with your spoken English ability to use adjectives and adverbs or show empathy. Try to satisfy as many of the tasks that is as the bullet points on the role play card as possible and so on. So what to do if you have 30 to 40 seconds left of the five minutes you are given? Of course, you won't even know this point of time until the interlocutor stops you. So just keep on speaking until they say stop. But what if you have this feeling when you are coming up to your last sentence and you think, oh no, what do I say the next? I've asked all the questions that I could think of. So here, my suggestion is to summarize what you have just said. Summarize the advice that you have given and the things that you have said previously to reassure the patient. You could also uh, use different language. I would encourage you uh, to not use the same language if you want to summarize. You could say, for example, okay, Mr. Johnson, I just wanted to remind you of the importance of drinking lots of water, taking your medications three times per day and getting sufficient exercise. So it's really important if you could give a summary like the above, just to kind of pull everything that you have spoken about together. Then of course, at the end, you could say regarding any further worries or concern, I really want to reassure you and let you know that we are really here to help you every step of the way. Something this really shows effective empathy, uh, leaves them on a high note. In a lot of cases, you are dealing with patients who are really distressed. They are anxious and worried. So they are maybe not listening to every single word that you are saying. Their mind could be elsewhere and thinking about what if scenarios such as what if this happens, what if my child dies, what if I can't walk again and many more. So whenever you are dealing these kinds of situations and you're out of time, you just complete your task, all the tasks given that are the bullet points on the role play card. Also, if you think you are done with everything, but still you have a time, just summarize the points or advice you have given to the patients like which is called reassuring the patient so hopeful this was helpful for you today and i hope you'll follow all these instructions and do well in your examinations and i wish every aspirant who's working really hard get the desired result for oet exam and can fulfill his or her dreams so if you want to enroll with us for our online or offline classes or you want the module corrections like writing, then you can join us. You can contact on the given number. So if you have more queries, any doubt, you can just put that below in the comments and I will try to resolve the queries. Thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned for the next video.